Welcome to Atlanta's Commercial Real Estate Show, brought to you by Bull Realty, the show for property owners and business leaders. Host Michael Bull brings you market analysis, advice, and opportunities around Atlanta. So let's talk about retail in this segment. Uh, thanks for joining us here at Atlanta Leaders Group. Thanks for joining us on the radio stations, iTunes, YouTube, or the show website. AtlantaCREshow.com. So retail, retail, everybody knows has kind of been wild and woolly, right? Yeah, we have the whole, the whole city's listening to us today, right? So um, it's been a wild and woolly retail world. And I think the question becomes, is online really killing sticks and bricks? And I think some people have the feeling that retail is dying because some of these big boxes are closing. And I don't think retail's dying. I think what happened is retail's changing. It's just changing. You know, it's more experience. It's more restaurants. It's more activities. There's, there, there's more of an of a experience when you go. If you go to a place like um, uh, some of these mixed-use developments, you know, there's, there's activities. There's events. You know, there's uh, things going on outside. So I think retail is really changing. If you, so if you look at retail vacancy around Atlanta, you see vacancy is coming down. You know, you had, what, 14 and a half uh, in 2012, now down to, you know, 11 percent. So even though you, th you read about the big boxes closing and things, really uh, retail overall is doing well. You know, with any sector, you've got to look at submarket specific and types of properties. But it's really, it's doing well. If you look at the uh, rental rates here, you see some rates, rents ranging from 13 to 8, 16, 18. And, and retail is really interesting, too, because one building on one side of the street can be doing really well. One across the street can be doing terribly. Um, so again, I'd look at every property specifically. Uh, and we've actually had some real rate growth uh, for retail, right? You see it? It's climbing. Net absorption. Doing well. Cap rates. See, cap rates dropped from 2012, 14, 15, 16, um, and you know they're they're pretty flat right now. I'd say, and, and our, we sell a lot of shopping centers here, and um, you know the, the the depending on the property, we tend to get a lot of B product in the 15 million to, to three million dollar range, and uh, you know those cap rates are pretty flat, um, and there's some real opportunities in those properties uh, to be better managed and turned around. Uh, but the average cap rate right now in Atlanta, 7.86%. Here's some recent sales. Um, here's this top one is a deal that uh, Andy in the audience sold recently. Uh, seven cap uh, down in the Grant Park area, 5.5 million. Uh, deal in Duluth, 8.6 cap for 7 million. Uh, in Norcross, an eight <laughs> cap building. Uh, it's only 10,000 square foot, so for 2.8 million. And if you ever want to know what any buildings are selling for or the rental rate trends for a submarket, uh, competing rents for, for properties that compete with a certain building, we track all that all the time. And we look at every situation independently. Potential factors uh, impacting retail. Obviously, online sales growth is going to impact retail. And it's what worries some investors in the retail space. Um, new supply. Uh, changing retail landscape, the, you know, the high end and low end is doing well. It's kind of that middle income retail that's, that's tending to struggle more. Um, you guys that all shop at the high end places in this room, your, your, your places are doing well. The places, the dollar stores I go to, they're doing well. It's the in between, you know, uh, they're having trouble. And then more experience. You know, we just did a show recently at Avalon. And we interviewed Mark Toro, and we got to look at what they're doing there. And they're a great example of what retail's turned into today. You know, it's mixed use. There's events. Uh, there's parties. There's open container. People walking around drinking. There's Dean Martin music playing in the background. Uh, and it's kind of a fun experience to just go there. And I think that is what the new retail is going to be moving forward. Here's an example of the retail sales. Um, and the increase, it's, it's going to be significant. I, you know, I think if, you, if you're like me, uh, I think it was a couple months ago, I wanted to get a particular product and I went to two stores and it was terrible, the selection. 
I went back to my house and in two minutes found exactly what I wanted and it was delivered the next day. You know, and I thought to myself, why did I get in my car and go to those stores? I think I wanted to find an experience and I found a bad experience, right? So I think online sales is going to continue to grow. Thanks to our presenting sponsor, Bull Realty, and to all of our sponsors, link below. For more Atlanta forecasts, advice, and opportunities, subscribe on YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, and AtlantaCommercialRealEstateShow.com. And be sure to connect, comment, and share on your favorite social media sites.